Starting your day off with a take on Vegas you won't get anywhere else. Hi, I'm Holly Madison, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Hi, this is William Shatner, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Why? Because I'm a good American. So is he. And if you don't listen to him, you need to pack up and leave this country. This is the Vegas Take with Sharp and Shapiro. Come on again! What's up, everybody? It is the Vegas Take. Happy Tuesday to you all. Sharp and Shapiro, glad you could join us. We're going to have a lot of fun today, a lot to get to. As always, right, it's the video that made college basketball headwaves really all over the country. It was a national story in regards to that uh, post-game fight in Nevada and Utah State. Well, the guy who took that video, he got a half a million views in an hour. Jake Edmonds from KUTV will be joining us. Find out exactly what he saw and why is the Mountain West Conference not suspended anyone? Why why have they just left it up to the teams? We'll talk about that with Jake coming up in hour number two. Joining us in studio, though, to get all the political talk you want to get to. Yeah, we talk about it. We get down with Donald Trump. That's right. Ron Futrell from Channel 8, the, the, uh, the legend of Ron Futrell, I like to call him. He's like the Ron Burgundy of Las Vegas, only in a sports sense, right? I'll go Burgundy. Burgundy was my nickname at Channel 13, so I'll go Burgundy. Where's my guitar? Hold on a oh, second. Oh, boy, here we go. Grab it. Okay, well, while I'll grab it. While you're I'll talking about that, I'll, okay. I'll also, uh, since uh, my co-host J.D. Sharp was unable to attend today, Chris Wynn filling in for him, as Chris usually always fills in for us on Monday. I might also start calling him my co-host. He seems to be here more than more than J.D., but Chris, thanks for coming in, as as always. Always good to see you guys. And, uh, Ron, we have a very nice, uh, fully signed autographed guitar behind me right here. I don't know how functional this is, but no, you that one's, to break it out. that one's not. There's a better one in the other room. I'm going to grab that one before the night's good, done. Good, and Just to a little good. practice. Like a finger just to work on it a little bit. See, it's, it's, Whoa, okay, I don't, I don't know what that meant. But anyway, we'll... Fingering we'll, we'll, means the fretboard. I know the fretboard what you're, okay, the all right, be careful, because we were talking about Michael Jackson in here in a little bit, and I don't want to get anything... I, I want to be careful. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we are talking about Michael Jackson coming up here in a little bit. Uh, part two of this Leaving Neverland. It is uh, unbelievably gross, disgusting, grotesque, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was tough to watch, but I watched it. And uh, I'm going to tell you how I've changed my mind a little bit. Yesterday on the show, I said, I don't know if he ever molested anyone. After watching part two and doing a, a little investigating, I'm going to tell you there's no doubt in my mind now that he's guilty. And I'll, tell, I'll explain why. He's Coming dead, up, though, right? He's still yeah, dead? Well, I okay. don't care no, about no, that. Well, no, that, does, that is sort of, well, yes. Uh, I don't you're care right, about you're that. Right. But we'll, we'll talk <laughs> about that uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour. But the big still, news today Chris, is. Chris, am I right? He's you, gone, you are right. He is yes, dead. He is. The big news today, of course, is. Uh, Ten years he's been gone. Yeah, I've heard that somewhere. Yes, he is. Farrah Fawcett the same day. Thank oh, you. Poor Farah. The same day as Michael Jackson. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so, uh, the president, of course, we've got some pretty big news. At least I think it's big news. Today. Beside this big investigation, Democrats are pretty much in tar- targeting his entire world. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, now we're learning that President uh, Donald Trump pressured his staff to grant security clearances to Ivanka Trump. We've learned about the Jared Kushner stuff, about uh, how he lied to the media, and he said that he had absolutely what? nothing to do to with security. Yes, he did. Oh. Security clearances. Now, you know, the problem what? with Ivanka Trump is this. And first of all, if you ask me what she does, I still don't know what Ivanka Trump does. She's the executive no assistant, right, to the president of the United States. I understand, I but what does she do title. on a daily basis? You know, I, I don't understand it. And, and the fact that she still has business dealings and she's still making seven figures, Millions of dollars. Damn, I think that is. I think really makes you mad, doesn't it? it? No, it doesn't make me mad, Ron. You know what makes me mad? The fact that she wants a security clearance and she has these business entities. I think it is a conflict of interest. And while you might say it's not against the law, I think most people would say they'd probably be a little bit uncomfortable with somebody like Ivanka I'm Trump. Not. She's or she's a rock star. Okay, Ivanka's so, a rock star. So let me ask you a question then: Why are there so many people around Donald Trump and a lot of people that were not necessarily willing to give her a security clearance along with a Jared Kushner? Explain that to me. Well, explain what happened to the, the Russian. Russian collusion thing first. Let's go there. No, oh, that's wait, a different no, subject. No, this, it is a different subject. It's still ongoing, though, right? Oh, yeah. It's dead. It's done. You <laughs> give up it? on that. It's Robert over. Lord, it's it's over. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's done. It's like, Everybody. No. And so what's happening, <laughs> I think, no, I think you're a double agent. Here's here's my theory. Brian, you and maybe Chris, yeah. too. Well, maybe not Chris. Uh, Brian, but I know you're a double agent. You're trying to get Trump elected, reelected as president of the United States of America. All this, all this stuff. Keep going, Democrats. You are going to overplay your hand. I'm asking you something Keep, serious. No, though, no, Ron. I am too. No, but you're going to. Demo- this is this serious, serious stuff. Democrats will overplay their hand by going after Why do every you keep little talking? thing. I'm asking you a simple question. It okay. has nothing to do no, with Democrats. Answer, no, Hold on a second. People around Donald Trump are very serious the president, about the these president, security 
security clearances. The president can give security clearances to whoever he feels needs a security clearance. And many th- That's up to him. It's no, oh, no other time in history, no other time in history have you worried about security clearance. Did you care about Obama's security clearances, Clinton or Bush? Or Last I checked, no. his kids didn't have security clearances. Go ahead. Well, guys, there's well. a method of madness here. There's a reason why it's a controversy right now in regards to Je- uh, Jared Kushner as well as Ivanka Trump. And why? It's because there's the uh, question of nepotism, right? There's the, there's the, that's why people are disagreeing with, with uh, the possibility that Jared Kushner or Ivanka could get security clearance. It's not necessarily whether or not they need him or not. It has nothing to do with their job description or anything like that. The notion that nepotism is something that, that, is, that is taking place in the Trump administration is troubling to a lot of people. So that's why. No, it's not. No, it's not. Keep it well, up. That's why, they're keep having, it up, you're that's why it's get, a debate, though. Keep it up. You're going to get Trump reelected. All right. No, but keep, you know why it's a debate. This, bo- this, oh, I almost. BS. Uh, little, little stop. Yeah. No, BS. this CS, BS. <laughs> keep this little, just trying to, uh, every and little, this is not a big deal. Okay. Everything Let me ask you a question. You if, Chelsea can, Clinton, if Chelsea Clinton asked for security clearance, you wouldn't have had a problem was, with that? When she was 12? I'm just saying, when she was a little, yeah. would you have had a know. problem with that? I don't know. I don't care. I don't, don't know. know. I don't know that she didn't. She was 12 years no, she, old. she didn't ask. She was not given security clearance. She was 12 years old. What about if she was eight, a rock 17 star. or 18? Would you be okay? What do you mean well, she's a rock no, star? No, no. What do what I does mean? That mean? She is a rock star. Everybody, that, no, but, everybody that I know, that I trust, that, have, that has met her personally, they say if you meet her and know her, she is dynamic. That she is. Well, people she, say the same thing about me. So what? I don't deserve yeah, a, clear, a security well, clearance. <laughs> yeah. Let me just give a little four background million, here. Four million people in this country have security yeah. clearances, and dem- you're worried about those two. Let me let me yeah. give a little let me give a little bit of detail. <laughs> you're here. trying to get Trump reelected right. by going right. after all these petty little right. pissant things. It's not petty. Not petty at all. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Absolutely. This deve- is. Okay, so let me. Uh, the, this development comes on John the heels Brennan, of. You're worried about his security clearance. Right. He's going on CNN spreading. He's going on CNN spreading details about his security clearance and secrets of the United States government, but you're not worried about his security clearance. Okay. Yeah. But how about that, though? The John Brennan, had, they, all, after all this bluster, right, What I believe it was about a month and a half ago, where they were yep. talking about revoking his security clearance, what has happened? Nothing. John Brennan still has his, his top oh, secret security him. clearance, or above top secret security Here's what we know. Let, let me just, let me just ex- an analyst. Let me just yeah. explain yeah. what we know. Uh, so p- the president apparently ordered Kelly to grant Kushner a top security clearance despite concerns raised by many intelligence officials. Now, the president denied he had any role in Kushner receiving a clearance. We're learning that that was a lie. Now, the latest revelation contradicts what Ivanka Trump said. She denied to ABC News only what? three weeks. ABC News? Hold on, let me finish. Oh, no. ABC News uh, three weeks ago. This <laughs> is only three weeks ago <laughs> when she said her father had, quote, no involvement regarding her on and, and Kushner's clearances. Now, we have learned that that is a complete lie. Investigate it, please. Congress, open up an investigation. Please invest. No, do another investigation into Trump. The more investigations of Democrat, the crazy, crazy liberal Democrats you on keep- the left start investigating Trump, the more people are going to go, okay, it's going to be white noise. It is already white noise. Keep it up. Keep it up. Do an investigation. Let me, do another one. Let, do me, another just, one. let me just give out the number. And another, okay. one. and another one. 15 investigations. 100 <laughs> investigations. When, Ron is, that's a song. when Futrell is done with his right wing uh, propaganda, <laughs> no, keep, uh, I'll give out the number. Keep the investigation. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Ron. You reverse psychology. That. All right, let me give out the number first: two five seven five three nine six. If you want to be, a, if you want to be a part of this conversation, it, the number two five seven five three nine six. We have Ron Futrell, Channel Eight in the studio. Chris Wynn as well. Obviously, we're talking about the security clearances. Uh, apparently, that uh, Trump pushed forth on his daughter. And, uh, of course, uh, Jared Kushner as well. I wanted to respond to what Ron said because there is some merit, Ron, to what you're pointing out in regards to, you know, this flood (laughs) of investigations that are taking place. Because because yesterday, okay, the the House of Representatives uh, released that list of, what, 80-plus both people and companies that they basically – I don't know if it's it's not necessarily a subpoena, but they're requesting documents from all these people. And there is that notion out there. There's the thought. Okay, that maybe you are just piling on too much, and it's it's all 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 these investigations are coming at one time, but the fact of the matter is is that they're coming. They're, it's happening. It's, yeah. it's going to go down. Crapped out on collusion, so you go there. I well, get well, it. No, 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 no. no that's out not, on collusion. No, because, no, because so we'll that that investigation is still going on. The, the oh, investigation in the yeah. southern Iran, the investigation in the southern district of New York is still going on. That but but there is this thought from everybody in Washington D.C. Like oh, you know. It just seems like you know the, the they're just he's getting a barrage if they had from any, all angles. Donald, the president, is getting a barrage. So the, there, there is that feeling. If that there was there, anything, there to, could be overstepping. If going there was on anything to collusion, on. it would have been leaked. 
if there was anything to collusion, you it would have been. You can't make no, that assumption. Even, but nothing, even, but even, Ron, nothing's been even, leaked, even Michael Cohen said there was no collusion. But there's been nothing leaked. doesn't mean there wasn't collusion. No, just because even, of, even Michael Cohen, who had all the reason to make okay. up crap and lie before Cohen. But there's been even, no leaks um, whatsoever, though, from the Mueller investigation. Let's take a couple. Let's what? Take, <laughs> there's been none. No. no Somebody has you know been, been You know what there has been, though? Indictments. There has been people that have been sentenced. There has been people that are going to prison. We got those Russians. I got to take some phone calls. Those are just what's happening. When you guys are done bickering, let me know. Wait, wait, I just got a text from Phil okay, Ruffin. Who, I just, yes. just got a text from Phil Ruffin, who owns the um, Treasure Island here in town, and good yeah. friends, mm-hmm. personal friends with Donald Trump. He's asking me if I want a security clearance. Um, I think Very yes. Funny. I hold on, I'm going to answer <laughs> I it back. I wouldn't give you Phil. One. Give All right. Me, yes, I'll take one, Very please. Funny. Well, All you right. have to have the security clearance to, to cover the Mountain West tournament next week, right? So that's, <laughs> could be that's a must. Could be battles. That. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to take some phone calls. You guys, you guys could go back and forth for three hours. We need to take some <laughs> left, calls, though. Right, left, 257 5396. Again, that number to call, 257 5396. Let's start off with Kelly. Kelly, thanks for calling in. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good, Kelly. What's on your mind? Well, I mean, this is my wheelhouse that you're speaking about because Good. that's what uh, I pretty much did while I was in the Navy was, you know, the background investigations and, you know, for security clearances. Okay. So, uh, I mean, all, all from what I understand, all that uh, Kushner got was a, just a, a flat top secret. You know, there there's plenty above top secret. You know, you've got top secret FBI. And his clearance was downgraded. We should say that in February 2018, his clearance was downgraded. The world is safe. (laughs) Yeah, but I mean, a top secret, you know, is not what you think it is. Everyone's like, oh, my God, top secret. You know, it's not. So you let know, me ask you a question, Kelly. The, let me you know, ask you this. Kennedy. You I understand. <laughs> I understand. Uh, let me ask you this, Kelly. Why is it that there's so many people within the intelligence community that were opposed to giving not only Kushner uh, clearance but Ivanka Trump? Why do you think that is? Is it just because uh, well, maybe they were it, Democrats, like Ron would lead you to believe? The or, swamp. Or do you think the it swamp. was actually leg- legitimate reason? You tell me, Kelly. I honestly um, – and if you don't have any criminal uh, history – you know, in your background, like, and I don't, I know Jared Kushner's dad did, you know, but I'm talking mm-hmm. about Jared Kushner and I know Ivanka's clean, you know, so. What about conflicts of interest, uh, meaning business conflicts? That's a crime because she's a, tr- her last name is Trump and okay, well, she's, I was she's about, a Trump daughter but, but, and that's a crime but, and he's married to a Trump daughter. That's if, a crime. Unless they can be, <laughs> unless they can be proved, you know, the investigators will, will be like, well, they can be compromised. There's some sort of possibility of blackmail. Well, that, well that's what that's what uh, intelligence officials were were pushing to Donald Trump, but Donald Trump ignored that and still, right, you know, it's, because he's because he's a president. Because Donald Trump he's knows there's no collusion. <laughs> he's a president. <laughs> doesn't, it, but it doesn't. But it doesn't mean just he, because he's well, president, president, he can know, listen to them just, or not listen to them. That's his choice. He's the president. Right. Well, Kelly, I guess this I is know the you same. Hate that. I guess this is the same thing, Kelly, I always get into with Ron and, and some other people about this. Uh, you're right. The president could also side with Vladimir Putin up on a stage and not listen to our, our own intelligence. And the excuse I hear is, well, why should we believe our own intelligence? OK, well, would you rather believe an evil, murderous dictator? To me, this is just a common theme with Donald Trump is he do- Ron's right. He does what he wants. He doesn't listen to people if it opposes his views. And he's not able to say no to any member of his family. He seems to have a problem with that. Well, I mean, uh, I, I don't. I personally don't see an issue with him, you know. And I know I'm a I'm a diehard Trump supporter, and I take a bullet for him. Really? I, I thought you were a Hillary supporter. That shocks me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, That's but I don't see. I, I literally. I mean, if it's just the straight up top secret clearance, yeah. I don't see any issue with. All right. Well, listen. Listen. I appreciate your point of view, and I'm glad that you called in, and 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 you know you did that, and that's your opinion, and that's cool. I I tend to believe your political views might be clouding you a little bit, like my friend Mr. Futrell over here. But that's okay. Let's take another call. Bless you, Kelly. Take a deep Bless breath. You. Let's go to Johnny. Johnny, thanks for calling in. By the way, the number to call two five seven five three nine six. Again, that number five, to call three nine six. Yes, right. sir. What's up, Johnny? You can't handle hey, the truth. Hey, I uh, just wanted to give you a compliment i i know your immediate turnaround on your keeping the idiots that are very entertaining on longer and you're <laughs> talking it out with them i love it thank you and secondly <laughs> uh, i'm a i was a trump supporter then a not trump supporter because i just am sick of, like i told you my stomach ache every day right yes you and me both <laughs> i have to take tweeting. pepto-bismol with this guy every day but, but now I'm sitting here at the gym in my car looking through the window at rachel mad cow and she is just <laughs> tripping and there's going to be a two-year investigation. We're paying all these Senate people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Can I ask you a question? Thousands of dollars for the next Johnny, year. I'm glad you brought her up. I want to ask you a question, and I want to no. ask Ron the same thing, Johnny, if that's okay. So I'm not a big Rachel Maddow fan. I wouldn't call her Mad Cow. 
But I don't. I don't like. Here's why. Here's why I don't like. It's uh, not a term. A term of endearment. Hold on. Here's why. Here's why I don't like her. I don't like her because I think her show is boring. It's got nothing to do with oh, what yeah. she. Okay, but here's what. Here's. I. I hear right wing hosts call her all sorts of names, disgusting this and that. Bill O'Reilly was on the air for a very long time, and in a police report, his own child said that Bill O'Reilly threw his wife down down some stairs and physically assaulted her. Bill O'Reilly had to pay off several women enormous amounts of money for sexual harassment. I never hear anybody on the right say, boy, that Bill O'Reilly is disgusting. That Bill O'Reilly says, last I checked, Rachel Maddow never broke the law. She never assaulted a companion. She never assaulted True. somebody in her family. She never sexually assaulted anybody. I don't True. have a problem with you calling her that, Johnny, and I'm not Look saying... Look at O'Reilly's face, though. <laughs> Yeah, but Johnny, do you see what I'm saying though? I don't hear people on the right criticize Bill O'Reilly, who is a dis- that's a guy who's no. a disgusting human being. Yeah, You're I- correct. Hey, but here's here's what I want to say. <laughs> now that they're going to waste two years going against Trump, they're making me kind of say, "Ooh, wow, this is really a pile on, a waste of time." Because I-, I feel like they're not going to find anything. They're, they're going to find somebody that made a little cheating on the taxes, maybe or. It's the biggest waste of time. And, and Johnny, I'll tell you something, Johnny. You Johnny, I mean? Johnny, uh, maybe you're yeah. right, but I'm not about to say that, and here's why. There's something called an investigation. The Mueller report hasn't even come out yet. Now, if the Mueller report comes <laughs> out with nothing, then I would probably tend to agree with you that the Democrats are maybe reaching. All right, well, we don't know that yet, Johnny. Yeah. We do. Well, I do. I, you know I, I knew it two years ago. You're, you're a betting man. I knew it two years ago. Ryan, you know yes. it would have leaked, right? No, uh, yeah. you're right. You're right about one thing, Johnny. I am a betting man. I, obviously, you listen to the show. <laughs> and if you could bet on that it would have leaked, you would have seriously hit You want to know what I think is going to happen, Johnny? I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I think there are going to be a few things in this Mueller report that are going to maybe surprise some Republicans. I don't know if there was Russian collusion, but I think there's going to be. Here's why I say that. And, and again, I hope I'm wrong. There are idiots, like you said, Johnny, not you, but there are idiots that call in that think I want Donald Trump to go to jail. I want him to go to jail only if he committed a very serious crime. If he didn't commit any, I hope he didn't commit any crimes, but here's what I think, Johnny. You talk about a betting man. Here's what I think. I believe that all the people, not all of them, but a lot of the people around Donald Trump that have lied, that have pleaded guilty, a lot of people seem to lie about Russia. Now, I don't know why, but I just seem to think that, it just seems to me that it, there's there's you got to connect the dots here. There's something weird going on along the lines of, as well that he always seems to say nice things about Vladimir Putin along the lines of the facts that he refuses to show his tax returns. I don't well, know what is good. I don't know what crimes he committed. He bombed okay? the, he bombed the Russians in Syria. Was that okay? Was it's that hard, he bombed them? He's been tough. The FBI sometimes when they slam you for a few months. I understand, Johnny, but do you see where I'm going with this? I seem to think there's a there there. Yeah. There's something World there. Peace is number no. one, though. You know, you got to try to get along with Vlad. You got to get along with these guys. They Getting this. along with him no. is yeah. okay, but going on a stage on a, on a national hey, stage. You're still number one, you're going to the top. <laughs> All right. Good night now. All right, Johnny. Thank you. Okay. Here, here. What Trump has done to run, what he has done, bombing the Russians in Syria, they were not happy about that. Oh, by the way, he killed Russians. Was that good? Is that okay? Uh, by the way, he took away their, he took away Germans. He went to Germany and said, by the way, don't buy Russian oil anymore. Don't buy gas or, oh, no, it, 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 Hurt the Russians. It hurt. The, he's done things to hurt the. But that's not. Enough. That's not good enough for you. I, no, 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 you don't no, like. You, yeah, you got to separate. Like Ron, you got to separate it though. You, you like know. You know how says. Donald Trump. Right, let, you know Donald okay. Trump's okay. mentality. You guys. Okay. You know. You know. You're saying no, Donald Trump killed these. Donald the Trump Russians didn't individually that. do that. They're, they're, obviously, the administration is. He made is that at the decision. Top, but no. Well, no. There's uh, there's others in that administration okay, right, that okay, made the decision. Then he doesn't get But you know how Trump is. He separates it, right? So he'll go to Helsinki, okay, and he'll stand on the stage with with Vladimir Putin, okay, and he'll. He'll have a completely different perspective. He'll have a completely different approach. He'll, he'll approach it as if he wants to be buddies with Vladimir Putin. He'll say flattering yeah. things about Vladimir Putin. He did the same thing with MBS in Saudi Arabia after the killing of Khashoggi. He's done, he did the same thing last week or a week and a half ago with Kim Jong-un after we had to send an American citizen back in a comatose state who passed away, okay? And he still was saying, he was saying positive things about dictators and about murderous Let me ask regimes. you a question. Let, so, so, Good point. Let you me understand ask, what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Let me ask Ron. Answer this question honestly, okay? I know we not, we're not going to agree on everything, okay? And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I respect your opinions, even though we disagree a lot. Okay. In regards to Otto Warmbier and Kim Jong Un, he called Kim Jong Un a great leader. This is an evil, murderous dictator. Now, don't give me this crap. Probably the worst of, in the world. Okay. Trying to be yeah, trying. Okay. The worst in the world. And, and he's a in, terrible regard, leader, in regards to Otto Warmbier, if you recall, it's a horrible, horrible story. I know I the story. So, okay. Yeah. His parents were invited to the State of the Union. Donald Trump basically gave them his word that he was going to find out who did this and hold them accountable. Uh, when asked about that. 
uh, he said he did speak to Kim Jong Un about it, and Kim Jong Un said he had nothing to do with it, and he felt very bad. What did you? Now there is a lot of Republicans out there that do not agree with the way Donald Trump handled that situation. In fact, some of them called it disgusting. Republicans on Fox News and CNN. How do you feel about our president, your president, standing up there on a stage praising Kim Jong Un? Your president too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh-huh. How do you feel about the way he handled that? Did he show great leadership you're, you're skills? More, you're, you're more concerned. No, I don't like it. Um, but you're more concerned about See, that. I find that interesting, though. They I only like say it. no, no, I don't no, like no, it, and then like you it, move on more, to something no, else. If you're Bill more Clinton concerned. did that, you're, or Hillary you're, Clinton did that, you would be going nuts for 45 trying, minutes. You're, but no, you're, no, no, no. Republicans angry. do this all the time. No, you're angry you just that say, he is well, negotiating. Which you on the left, you crazy. That crazy is not leftists, negotiating. That love, is not negotiating. You don't know what's going on behind. We're the first, we're the first president. Well, you're to right. Negotiate I don't know what's going him. on between him and Vladimir Putin because he won't release it to anyone. It's, it's no, private. It's, Why no. is that? That's that's up to his, that's a president. Oh, how convenient! Prerogative. How convenient that how convenient? all the other all the other world leaders he records, but when it comes to Vladimir Putin, he doesn't that's want anyone to know what he talked about. Prerogative. Oh please! Oh, I yeah. find it very oh, interesting. Republic, you don't think when Donald Trump wait, makes wait, wait. now you're saying Trump can't have secret uh, Trump? You won't even let Trump have a secret conversation with another world leader. Just That's find insane. It, find it interesting. We're getting away from we're getting away from the point <laughs> here. You guys are talking about the negotiations and all that. <laughs> the, the very insane. simple question he's asking is that is that how come uh, a, a Republican? How it's... come how come when Democrats have an issue with President Trump when he says things that are pa- praising uh, you know dicta- murderous dictators people and, and and, and members of uh, royal families in other countries like MBS kill have people killed. Yet, you know, if, if, if this happened, say, for example, Hillary Clinton, OK, had been president and went to Russia and was and, and was kick, kissing the backside of Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. What do you think? Exactly. Sean Hannity. I- the right, I agree. Or any here, Republican here's, would here's, have been doing. I, we got to put him going ballistic. We got to take absolutely a break. Okay. We, we got to take a break, an and I don't want to cut you yeah. off. So, an so for when, you. so when we come back, Ron, I want you to respond to this. Let me yes. just say one more thing, and we'll continue this conversation. Okay, let me talk a little bit about uh, Omar, the freshman uh, in in Congress, mm-hmm. right? And uh, Republicans are going nuts over some of the things she said. And by the way, I agree, some of the things she said are are, are really yeah. bad. But you hear all the Republicans complaining about that. But when it comes to Donald Trump on a stage talking about Otto Warmbier and taking Kim Jong-un's side. When we talk to Republicans, many of them will answer the way Ron answered. Well, I don't agree with that. And then they'll just move okay. on to something no. else. You have to be consistent with what you like. I and care more about what he does okay. than what he says. All right. Well, well there you go. Okay, that's fine. But I care more about then, what he does. Then why do so many Republicans what he says. talking about Omar? Nonstop, 24-7 on Fox News. I don't know we'll who talk she about is. that. We'll talk about that when we come is. back. But uh, the number to call if you want to be a part of the conversation, 702-257-5396. Again, the number to call, be a part of the show, 257-5396. Also coming up, I will tell you why I think there is no doubt the shadow of my mind why M- Michael Jackson probably should have gone to jail when he was alive. And I do believe he molested kids, and I'll give you that when we come back. You're listening to The Vegas Take. Chris Wynn, Ron Futrell in studio on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM, K-Don.